Today, we are at the Reverb by Hard Rock Downtown Atlanta with the great Lady M of Bar Talk ATL. We will be giving our assessment of the two bars at the Reverb by Hard Rock Hotel. Now, let's go pour some drinks. This episode was brought to you by We Tip Hotels. We Tip Hotels allows you to give your employees a raise without you having to pay for it and without you having to pay payroll taxes for it. Give your employees the money that they deserve and let your guests tip them. Check out We Tip Hotels at wetiphotels.com. Hi, everybody. My name is Marcella with Bar Talk ATL. I'm your host, AKA Lady M, and we are here at Reverb by Hard Rock. Oh, yeah. Hard oh, Rock. I want to say Hard Rock Cafe. Because because that's what you're used to saying. You're used yeah. to saying a Hard, hard Rock uh, Cafe, Casino, or a yeah, hotel. Yeah, because yeah. yeah, that's the brand that you're used to. That's usually what the, well, that's the brand that they're it's used to. It's all affiliate. Yeah, because yeah, right? this is their first actually Reverb. So, okay. you know, that's why, you know, you have like the rooftop bar and you have the bar that's laid out right here. So like this thing is, uh, this thing is amazing. They did a really good job. So Bruce, we are here um, with the first Reverb Hotel here in Atlanta, Georgia. Yeah. Like, how lucky are we? Like, <laughs> we are really, really lucky just to, just to be here because, you know, while you got this hotel that just opened, you got other hotels that are, you know, shutting down or they're, they're, they're getting foreclosed on. They're going to receivership, they're going to bankruptcy, so it's a, it's a little tough for, for a lot of hotels out there right now. We're excited about it. This hotel is so beautiful. And I love that you mentioned the rooftop. I've been up there. Oh my God, summertime, springtime, guys, it's going to be so lit. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> you guys are going to be swarmed here. So tell us a little bit about you. Introduce yourself and tell us a little bit about Bruce and what you do. Oh, sure, sure. I'm a, I'm a hotel consultant. I specialize in uh, revenue generation. Um, I do a lot of social media marketing. I do a lot of digital marketing for hotels. Um, and I'm usually the guy that they call when they when they need to get the hotel turned around. Awesome. Um, I started off at a height, and then from there, I actually used to live down here in, in okay. Atlanta. Um, originally from New Jersey, moved down here to join uh, ISG. I used to work for the ISG for a while. You know, and then after that, I just started bouncing around a little bit. And then, you know, one day I said, you know what, it's time to do it. You know, I, I kept getting the calls. I getting these crazy calls. Yeah, so you're the man. You yeah. get the call when they need uh, to get things spruced up around here. There you Bruce go. the spruce. <laughs> <laughs> Bruce with the spruce. Okay, I got you. But, uh, well, you live here in Atlanta now? Are no, I here? actually, uh, I live in Orlando. Oh. But, uh, but I, you know, I still have a lot of friends out here. So I come out here, you know, probably every three months just to visit see what's going on and then I see a lot of new hotels opening up so right. you know I have a show called Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts where we go into hotels and see you know what are some of the problems from a management point of view things that they're doing good mm-hmm. things they can do better on you know right. and let the guests decide if this is a, a place where they're going to stay I think that is great because I do something similar to that but it's bars oh, yeah, okay. but the bars and the restaurants uh, where we go in and we highlight the bars right now especially during COVID because we want people to come out you know start gradually coming out you know but we want to make sure that everything is safe Yeah. you know we want them to know that they're in a safe environment they're following all the COVID protocols and things like that when you come in so I did admire that coming in the door. They checked my feet, my uh, fever, and it looked like they were taking a picture of me, which was so dope. <laughs> I, was, I was posing for it, but they were taking my picture, which is like new and yeah. innovative, I yeah. thought. And then, you know, they have masks and then they have the hand sanitizer. So it's definitely a safe place and a, a place that I would want to come and just chill and, and feel safe. Like, I, I was actually surprised. Like, they check it. No matter how many times you come, like even if you was already inside, they check you again. Yeah. Like I never seen it be Both that extreme. Sometimes they'd be like, yeah. they see you, and they'd be like, what? Well, no, yeah. Every time you go out, they come, come back in and check you. And what's it's crazy nice. is that uh, I haven't seen that scanning device. Yeah. Only time I've seen that was like a, maybe the corporate. I've never. This is my first time ever. Never seen it in a hotel. Wow. Throughout all of COVID. Wow. So. The, so you know they're taking it serious. Yeah. Yeah, they're, so, they're no joke. They're, they're yeah. definitely going to be on top of the game now. Absolutely. And the, the hotel is beautiful. It's right across the street from the Mercedes Benz. So that's exciting enough. You know, that I can see that glowing 
sign from from my hotel. Yeah. <laughs> like a big see, moon. <laughs> yeah, I see that little Mercedes moon from my hotel room. Like I was, I was surprised. They did a good job with that. Yeah, they, they really impressed with that one. They, they got that. But but the location now, there was the location planned because it seemed like it's just so perfect. To, it, that's that's what's scary. Like I don't know, cause I see they're, they're like building some apartment complexes like mm -hmm. right next to you know this hotel. So I thought that was expanding hotel. They were like, no, those are those are apartments. And I'm like, what? Yeah, this is gonna be really hot. So I know where I'm coming to spend my little summer evenings to wine and dine down. This is the spot that we have uh, some we have some live performances going on. Yeah. Bobby. I think they do it, is it every Friday or is it every Saturday that they do the live performance? This is my Saturday? first time here and yeah. I'm loving it. <laughs> I was told they say it's like every every Saturday at 7 o'clock they do it, but oh, yeah. they have live music and it, I, I love the, the ambiance. I love how is everything great. is like just neutral and smooth. It reminds me like, you know, being like in New York somewhere. Yeah. Or being, you know, somewhere. It's, 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 it's really uh, warm and and welcoming. And the, uh, the staff appears to be very professional oh, yeah. and on top of things. And um, I'm just loving the vibe. You know, I only came through to um, check out some of the the sights yeah. and see some of the performances, but I know this is going to be one of my hot spots. So. What, what I love the most is that um, that the bar, the rooftop bar they have upstairs. Like, yes. Oh, man, that, that is really that, nice. That is how, like, just the design, the layout, how they have everything just Absolutely. moving and so smooth. And it's packed. <laughs> it's packed up there. And it's, and what it, oh, it's so grown. It's yeah. like a grown atmosphere. Like, the music that the DJ's playing, mm -hmm. it takes me back to, like, I know tell my age, but um, <laughs> it takes me back to the 80s, 90s kind of feel. I mean, just a little mix of everything. So I like that old school vibe. That got going. So, yeah. so tell us what's what's next for you. What, what What's next on the... Well, right now, um, we, we just launched one of our older products, which is text messaging for hotels. Like, we review, we want to upgrade where for the front desk can communicate with the guests um, through text message. Um, our next product that we're launching is going to be called We Tip Hotels. Okay. And We Tip Hotels is going to be, allow you to leave a tip to the housekeeper, bar staff, um, doorman, bellman, whoever you want to leave a tip to. It goes right to the to the to the housekeeper or to the employee staff, and you can use your credit card. What the problem that I had is that I I had checked that out hotel. I don't carry a lot of cash. Me either. And you can't leave them a tip. You know, like they did a good job, and they they, they a lot of the yeah. money that they they make comes from tips. So if you if you're not able to leave them a tip, that means you know they're losing because yeah. the wage that they get is isn't yeah. the best. It's not. Isn't the best. Not, so they rely on those tips. And just like the parking across the street, it's like the parking lot is big. <laughs> Huge. And you know what? You're you're not even so you're not I'm not saying you're not supposed to park there, but the hotel is supposed to have its own park own parking. Yes. And they don't have it because it's not finished being built yet. So <laughs> wow, so they're functioning really great without it being completed but the parking was was okay it was nice the guy the parking attendant was very professional and uh, detailed and um and, and being in atlanta it's hard that's like the worst thing is going out somewhere and having to park or having to find somewhere to park so it's just right here at the door you walk on the street you're right here or just take the uber and yeah. let the Uber just drop you off. You go out there in Atlanta trying to find parking, it's like you you don't want to have to take a gas trying to find a parking space. But you get it, you get into a place for free and then you got to pay all this money to park. That's just <laughs> a crazy thing. But I, I think it's convenient. I, I, I love it. I love it here. Yeah, so this place is definitely grown and sexy. That's, it's that's it's for very sure. grown and sexy. You know, I see the uh, the uh, customers coming inside, coming inside and they're just, it's like they're, in this form like they know where they're going they know what they're doing everybody's in sync with what they're supposed to be doing and directions and stuff it's just so easy yeah this is like, definitely a easy. great like couples getaway where yes. couples like okay we live in the suburbs we're gonna go downtown we're gonna enjoy ourselves we're gonna, we, we ain't trying to worry about catching with the other right, right, right. yes so we just gonna get a room yes. do our thing we're gonna party and we're gonna go sleep hey i was thinking about coming down and doing a staycation oh yeah for my birthday oh yeah 
I've done that many times. I uh, got one of the, the bigger hotels downtown and just did a whole little staycation for my birthday. So this might be my spot. So this particular hotel compared to all the other hotels that you that you of course shot as far as with the bars and stuff like which one do you feel like? But this was new and it's it's popping. So I say this might just be the hot spot right now. Because uh, yeah, I done so. lived it up on my social media. You know, I done took everybody to a little tour and and everybody's like, oh wait, because I'm always like exploring. Mm -hmm. And with what I do with, with my show, I'm always looking to see where I want to do a show. You know, like that sexy ambiance has grown and, and this is it. I was I was really <laughs> impressed because usually it's the general manager that like sets the stage as far as like you know the presence and all that. So you know is, he knows he knows what he's doing. He, he does. Yeah, he knows what he's doing. He's feeling that vibe. Oh yeah. Yeah. Sure. So yeah, I've been fortunate enough to um, meet some of those types of, of general managers who are owners who um, who's looking for that sex appeal. Yeah. And who who thinks about everybody, the, mm -hmm. the kids, the family, and the grown and sexy all together. So for it's sure. kind of like everybody knows their place. So. For sure, for sure. <laughs> Like I don't see I don't see too many like teeny boppers here. Like, no. You know, like, no. Everyone here, their money is mature. <laughs> money is very mature here. That is good. I like that. <laughs> yes, mature money here, yeah, very grown and, and I like that. So it's always good to have a place for the grown ups to come and hang out and share and relax and network. So I, I love to network, so this has been so far, I've, I've met a lot of people. I've oh, only yeah. been here with an hour. So. Really? Is that even an hour? <laughs> job, well, Bruce, thank you so much for sitting down with me with Bar Talk ATL. Again, I'm your host, Marcella, aka Lady M, and Mr. Bruce here is doing his thing here in Atlanta. And how can someone follow you or they needed to get in touch with you about this? Sure. Oh, sure, they can go on my uh, my YouTube channel, um, Hotel Guest Management. Um, right now, we're shooting season two of Hotel Management Do's and Don'ts. Um, we finished with season one, so you know, I think Anchorage Hospitality and uh, Radisson Hotel um, called The Country and the Suites, they won season one. So let's oh. see who's going to win season two. This hey, hotel right you here. You got is my vote right here. You got my vote right here. Yeah. Referred by. Hard Rock. That's it. That's and it. And I didn't Hard say rock. cafe that time. No, yeah, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank Peace you. and blessings.